Hi, PerspectiveWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Thursday, December 10th, and today we're going to talk about a once-in-a-lifetime event, a celestial event. It's called the Great Conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, and it actually takes place on the winter solstice, December 21st. Anybody who has seen the southwestern sky shortly after sunset in recent weeks, really for the last few months, going back to the summertime, have uh, has noticed two bright objects, one being Saturn, one being Jupiter, currently about two degrees apart in terms of appearance from here on Earth. They will actually converge to the point that by December 21st, they will appear only 0 0.1 degrees apart. That is about a fifth of the size of the Moon, the diameter of the Moon. And again, it's being called the Great Conjunction of 2020. Conjunctions between these two of the largest planets uh, takes place about every 20 years or so, but this one is really rare because it will not only be visible, but they will be so close together. Haven't been this close together in hundreds of years, really since the time of Galileo back in the early 1600s, but that particular conjunction was obscured to sky watchers on the Earth by the glare of the sun, as is often the case. You really have to go back to the medieval times, the year 1226, to match this kind of event in terms of uh, how close they are together and how easily it will be to view, because you have to go back almost 800 years uh, to the last time they were not obscured by the glare of the sun, and Jupiter and Saturn were this close together. Again, this is the way it has looked over the past few months. Saturn, the upper left, Jupiter, the lower right, and they will converge each night going forward to December 21st. And on that particular night, they will appear as a double star to some, depending on the viewing conditions, or a, a one a very, very large and bright star to others. And if you pull out your backyard telescope, you'll be able to see some of the largest moons of Jupiter in the same field of view with uh, the large planets of Jupiter and Saturn. Well, why does it take 20 years for the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn to take place? Here is an image uh, showing the uh, planets orbiting around the Sun, Jupiter here, Saturn here, and Saturn takes about 30 years to orbit the Sun, whereas Jupiter takes about 12 years, and if you do the math, that uh, will tell you that Jupiter actually catches up to Saturn every 20 years or so. So we have these great conjunctions between these uh, two large planets, Jupiter and Saturn, every 20 years or so, but again, many, many times uh, the uh, viewing from here on Earth is obscured by the glare of the Sun. That's what makes this particular conjunction so special, comfortably away from the Sun this particular time. And again, the peak will be on December 21st, and one day before or one day after, they will appear uh, quite a bit farther apart than on de December 21st itself. So you really have to mark your calendars for that particular day. Well, we have a posting right now on this great conjunction of 2020 at the Perspective Weather homepage, and we uh, save it at the Space Events page on the weather website. Here's a listing in this uh, today's posting of the conjunctions between these two planets uh, going forward this century, uh, from really from the year 2000 all the way to 2100. Again, every 20 years or so. This is the exact day to look at this particular event with a binoculars or a backyard telescope. The next one of any closeness in terms of the uh, uh, spectacular nature of this one will be about the year 2080. That'll be another spectacular event here. But again, uh, we haven't had the likes of this particular great conjunction that will take place on December 21st really since the 1200s. So this is certainly an opportunity you don't want to miss. Well, this is the sky map that came from spaceweather.com for December 21st, and what we're looking at here is the southwestern sky shortly after sunset. Probably the best time will be 
uh, maybe 30 minutes to uh, at least an hour or so after sunset. Look low in the southwestern sky. This particular map, this is the horizon right here. This is 270 degrees due west here. This is 240 degrees, so it's in the southwestern sky here. And you look up, and we will see Saturn and Jupiter 0.1 degrees apart on the winter solstice, December 21st. Hopefully sky conditions will be favorable. Again, some people may see a double planet effect. Others may just see one very, very, very bright star in the southwestern sky. Again, about 30 minutes to an hour or so. And these will set probably about by about 8.23 or so in the eastern U.S., they will drop to the south and east to the horizon, so you'll have uh, maybe a few hours to observe this. Uh, observe the, this, and again, if you pull out your binoculars or a backyard telescope, you'll be able to see the largest moons of Jupiter, three or four of them, in kind of a linear fashion, uh, in the same field of view as Jupiter and Saturn. So again, uh, mark your calendars now for December 21st. For the great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. That's it for now for PerspectiveWeather.com. I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.